about this next one. Okay. And so here I'm, I'm just want to just kind of show you how I like for your uh, homework to be formatted. But also I, I do this when, when I'm not sure where to start. If I'm not sure what equation to use or if I'm not sure what to do first. I can always, I know I can always fall back on this and let me just rewrite what was given in the problem statement. So if you don't know first step, this could be a good first step for test, uh, but this is how I want your homework formatted. All right, so you don't have to rewrite this whole thing in your given section. All you have to do is just write all the information. Small projectile fired vertically downward into a fluid medium with initial velocity. All right, so an initial velocity of 60 meters per second. The projectile experiences a deceleration, so an acceleration of negative 0.4 V cubed. Determine, so find, find the velocity after four seconds. And so that right there is all I would want you to write in the given and find section for your homework. So you can make it as, you can minimize it as much as you can, as long as it still has all the information in the problem statement. All right, so if I'm given acceleration, I'm asked to find velocity. Is that a derivative or an integral? Given acceleration, I'm going back up to velocity that, wait, what are we saying? Integral, right? Given acceleration, yeah, given acceleration, going back up to find velocity, that would be an integral. And which integral? Which integral? Uh, acceleration is in terms of V. Acceleration. So first of all, this is definitely not a constant acceleration problem. Acceleration is in terms of V. Let's go to our formula sheet. If acceleration is in terms of V, uh, we can't just use that one. That use that one when acceleration is in terms of S, that one when acceleration is in terms of T. When acceleration is in terms of V, I'm going to need to divide this acceleration to the other side of the equation. So I could use either of those. Which one of those? Well, I'd use this one if it said something about time. I'd use this one if it said something about position. It says after four seconds. So it, it talks about time. So I think this one right here, integral dv equals integral a dt. All right, integral dv equals integral a dt. So go back up to our notes. <clears throat> So then just start working out the solution. Integral dv equals integral a dt. So I'm going to take the integral of negative 0.4 v cubed with respect to t. Uh, but sorry, I should just go ahead and divide this over. So it's really integral 1 over a dv. All right, so the integral of 1 over negative 0.4 v cubed dv. All right, let, let me just rewrite this as what's 1 over 0.4? 2.5. So integral negative 2.5. And what's 1 over v cubed? I'd prefer to write it v to the negative cubed. All right, and so I could do the integral right there. On the right-hand side, all I'm left with is integral dt. So on the right-hand right side, it's just t. Technically, I should make that a definite integral from t initial to t final, but you know it's it's kind of it's really just t if we start at zero. <clears throat> okay, so how do you take uh, um, integrals? You add one to the exponent, so my negative three becomes negative two, and you divide by the new exponent. So so that's my um, integral. But I need to make it, if, if you don't want to have a constant integration, so I have to worry about and solve for. And this one it would be start to be a little more difficult to solve for that constant integration. Th these problems are why I uh, make these definite integrals. All right, so this one, it did have an initial velocity. Yeah, 60. It had an initial velocity of 60. And we're trying to find V. All right, so this would be... 1.25, so let me plug in V minus 1.25, 60 to the negative 2 equals T. If I wanted to, I could kind of rearrange this a little bit, solve for V, but let me just plug in time of, I want to know 
when t is equal to four, what is v? I only have one unknown. You can solve an equation with one unknown, right? I would add that to the other side of the equation, divide through by 1.25. I think of a neg negative exponent as an exponent being in the denominator. A um, little bit of math, not to be worried about. Uh, we get V is 0.559 meters per second. V is 0.559 meters per second. All right. All right, but let's step back. Like all these problems, I might not have time to do this. So I'm going to talk about this in a minute, but all these problems, let's step back and let's, let's review. All right. I was given an acceleration in terms of V. And so I just use that integral, divide that A to the other side, and then it's just math. And I needed to be careful that these were definite integrals uh, so that I had this V initial right there. Make sure my math was correct. Okay. 